I know doctors who thought I was a quack 10 years ago now send me clients, but the, it's, it's mainstream now because of the research to back it up. That's what makes it mainstream. A, you have doctors who are practicing oriental medicine. Um, it, a statistic is over 60% of MDs practice some form of alternative medicine, whether it be meditation or nutrition, but it's the research. A doctor can't prescribe something unless there's research to back it up. So the, the people who complain about their doctors, well, they need the research first, and the research is there now. So that's why doctors are now prescribing folic acid, for example, for certain heart issues. Doctors are prescribing vitamin C. So there's certain herbs that are out there and su supplements that are being prescribed because of the research behind it. Bitter foods, if you look on your shopping list, most of the bitter foods are green leafy vegetables, which unfortunately a lot of kids don't like. But bitter foods have a, a descending energy, whereas spicy food has an ascending energy, right? So spices go to your head. Anything bitter actually descends. What do I want to descend? Well, what if I'm having wheezing or constipation or fullness in my digestive system? I'm actually, by eating any herb that's bitter or any food that's bitter, I'm actually descending energy out of the body. So I can promote urination and I can promote bowel movements. All bitter foods have anti-inflammatory properties, which means they clear heat in Chinese medicine. Okay, there was a great theory on febrile disease way back in the history of Chinese medicine where most of these great bitter herbs were discovered. But it's interesting, in modern science, we're seeing that bitter foods have a profound effect on liver detoxification. And what does that mean, briefly? It means that we have many conjugation pathways in our liver which help to conjugate heavy metals and metabolic waste and pesticides and things that we don't need in our body. And those pathways can be induced by certain nutrients. The greatest studies out there are from Johns Hopkins. Johns Hopkins is researching broccoli sprouts. There's something in broccoli called sulforaphane. Okay, what they found out is that broccoli actually helps the liver to metabolize estrogen. There's a certain pathway in your liver that when you eat broccoli, the sulforaphane induces and helps you to metabolize the bad estrogen out of the system. So the research was done for women who are estrogen dominant. And what does that mean? Women with painful menstrual cycles, fibrocystic disorders. It was really done also as a preventative for breast cancer. I can't get into it in great detail, but go to their website and read about the wonderful, wonderful work that they're doing. There's clinical trials going on now at Sloan. They're using broccoli seed versus tamoxifen as a way of stopping reactive estrogens from getting back into receptor sites post breast cancer. So that was just an example of how way back when we said bitter foods help clean the liver out. Now we're seeing some great research on cruciferous vegetables as well as kale, as well as dandelion greens, which are showing they have a profound effect on liver detoxification. And what that means is it's not purging your bowels, it's not sweating, it has to do with conjugation pathways, okay?